rushing through my morning routine right now because I did the thing you know the thing where you wake up five minutes before your alarm goes off you turn off your alarm because you're thinking I'm up I'll get up like I know when to get up I'll get up then you fall asleep and you wake up 45 minutes later that's where we're at happy Monday I'm rushing through this routine I didn't get to do the good part of my routine which is like the yoga and the journaling and the meditation which is a little bit irritating to me but it's my own fault uh but it is monday <laughs> it's monday and you guys already know i have three classes today i'm attempting to make it to my first class on time uh for comparative law and yeah it's just gonna i'm just gonna be on campus all day as per usual studying doing all this stuff but this walk should be exciting um it's gonna span two weeks this week and some of next week um and it's halloween week so should be fun. I have costumes, you already know. Welcome to the vlog. If you're new here, hi, my name's Leandra. I am a law student at Duke School of Law and I'm late to class. Here's the fit for today. It's kind of dark out because it's overcast, but here's the fit. It's just a variation of the same fit I wore last week. Leather pants, shoes. I would have worn my Sambas, but I returned those. They didn't fit right. Um, but shoes, pants, top, and today, you guys, a backpack. I look like I'm so ready for school. Um, this is like firm gear. This is firm gear. I'm very much decked out in my firm right now. A walking advertisement. But I figured it would be, um, it would make more sense to take this today because I have a lot of things I need to lug down to law school. Um, it is more comfortable, not gonna lie. It is more practical, not gonna lie. But it's not as cute, not gonna lie. In every song. interruption to say a big thank you to K Stefy for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited to have them be a sponsor on this channel. I love K Stefy cases not only because they're very like slick and chic but mainly because you can customize it and make it your own. So I'm going to be showing you guys what I got in terms of like cases because I'm just super excited. I just I'm just so excited. So I mostly got impact and ultra impact cases and this is what they look like. This is an impact case. Look how pretty it is. Look how pretty it is. Look at the personality. And then this is an ultra impact case. And these are the ones that you can do the fun little drug test on because they have that military grade protection. It's actually made from she tech material um go ahead and say that out loud it's very fun to say she tech <laughs> and basically what she tech is is a type of technology that these are made of that allows you to drop this from up to like 9.8 feet which is absolutely crazy love that i'm gonna be at the gym like every other gym bro just dropping it every time i have to do a set super excited for me and like i said i really like these because you can personalize them and just have your phone be an extension of you to show your character um, it's great for you because you can express yourself it's also really great as a gift to a friend or family because you can customize it based on their personality or whatever is going on the event um, and i think it makes them feel like you know them and you're thinking about them when you take the effort to pick the exact print because there are so many print options on case defy um, you just <laughs> you have the lay of the land basically there's so many different colors also I know this one comes in like a bunch of colors I picked it in pink so right around here you can see how it's all just pink all across because it's cute and you can also add like your name to a case just because you know why not it's your phone <laughs> so this one has my name on it, it has I'm showing you guys the wrong way Leandra <laughs> Obviously, outside of just being generally cute and fun, it does protect your phone outside of just being able to drop it and not have it break. It has a special coating right around the cases that is antimicrobial, meaning that it protects your phone from germs and kills about 99% of bacteria, which is great. It's also 100% non-toxic, which is great because we are definitely non-toxic on this channel. Um, if you're interested in checking out Case Defy cases, I would highly recommend them 
obviously. Uh, go ahead and go to casetify.com slash leandriyemo where you can get a 15% off of your order. Thank you so much again to Casetify for sponsoring this video and I'll let you guys get back to the vlog. Go ahead and try saying she tech out loud. Just, just try it. Hello my friends, it is Wednesday. Uh, I did not sleep at all last night. I slept for a total of like two hours. Um, I like how I'm starting Wednesday complaining. I, I really do. Uh, it's really... <laughs> anyway, it's Wednesday. I didn't film yesterday because all I did was sit in the leasing office and study um, for ethics and the NPRE for a couple of hours. Then I worked out and then that was just like my day. Very boring. Um, I know some of you guys are like, even if your day's boring, include it. But I swear there's nothing to include. It would just be me sitting which you guys see already all the time i'm about to head to campus i'm going a little bit early so i can take my covid surveillance testing um, i just don't want to like wait until my break because i may not want to like walk all the way to the waduke to take it and i know the i can take it at the business school but no one at the business school ever knows where anything is um one because they either never there and they're students and or they're not students of the business school like me and we're just kind of there we're just hanging out we're just because it's just the vibes so here is a fit check for y'all because i finally it's finally cold enough to bring out the sweater that i bought on facebook marketplace okay and it's the best thing i've ever worn ever in my life if i can find a black afghan sweater that looks just like it, if you know what i'm talking about if you find it and you end up purchasing it let me know <laughs> let me know because i'm fighting for my life to get it but i'm just wearing this this skirt and then these little boots from aloha is my aloha's boots that i've been wanting to wear too so i'm super excited today's outfit is just it's doing it for me i have not slept but that's exactly why sometimes you just need to look cute because it gives you that energy that you need but let's get started with the day i got a lot of things to do I just woke up from such a good after school nap, like full body nap. My throat's kind of closed a little bit right now, I'm a little thirsty, but I feel good. Today was a great day, <laughs> great day, um, and I'm just so happy it's Wednesday. I'm just, just so glad it's Wednesday. I am home now obviously and i'm in my closet because i'm about to get ready to go to the gym and i've been posting a lot of gym selfies <laughs> gym photos on my instagram and i'm getting a lot of questions about what i do in terms of fitness and things like that so i thought i would just explain it really quick here so main question how often do i work out a week Five times a week is how often I work out. So I do the one of the Daisy B Fits program. I bought it over the summer. I will include a link of it in the description box below. But basically she has an app um, and I basically use the app. Um, when fall break, when I came back from fall break, I restarted the program. So I'm currently again on week three and um, I just do that. Like if I get I don't know you can just restart the program anytime you want because the app is kind of like that and it's your program you bought it so you own it um so i just started all over again and i'm on week three and it comprises of two lower body days i think two upper body days <laughs> and one full body day and then two days of rest so that's basically what i do um i do edit it depending on how my body is feeling i think that's important to listen to your body and the boundaries it's trying to set and what it's trying to tell you when it's really tired uh take a break <laughs> i literally uh recently had to unfollow re-unfollow a fitness influencer because they were kind of promoting this you know today was my rest day but i went to the gym anyway every week and i was like bang that is so problematic. Um, I don't believe in that. If you have a rest day, take your rest day. Um, I really 100% believe in that. It's the, the best way to ensure longevity when you want to work out and get fit. Um, but again, I will include the a program in the description box below. And then in this vlog, I'll probably show you guys like my upper body, hopefully. And then probably, most definitely, my lower bodies because I love the lower bodies in this program. I think she did a great job at um, picking exercises and putting them together and making sure they work together. Um, so that's basically what I do. 
of course a lot of my <laughs> body comes with genetics uh fitness and um what i eat um i eat right now about 1800 calories a day that is in a calorie deficit i decided to go on a small little cut when i came back from fall break because i had gained some weight over fall break i wanted to gain weight i gained a little bit more than i wanted um which was fine but i went on the cut because it was just kind of like a lot of fat my body just doesn't it just wasn't that's not how it's supposed to be <laughs> so they have a specific like maintenance uh level and it just was a little bit further from that so i decided to kind of get back to my regular maintenance i think i'm pretty much there so now <laughs> i think i'm pretty much there so now i am just really kind of chilling chilling out i don't know i'm probably gonna stop with calorie deficit very soon um and go back to just eating at maintenance like i was doing uh before i drink about half a gallon of water a day because a full gallon is just too much too fast too soon all that um so it's about half a gallon and i try to have at least 120 plus grams of protein a day um that's very hard especially right now for me my eating has not been the best because of my adhd medication um but that is the ultimate goal i have this board that i put in my laundry room where i check my workouts for the week to make sure that i know what i'm doing and just to keep myself accountable it also has how much cardio i'm supposed to be doing a week my protein my daily protein goal uh calorie limit or whatever and also how much water i'm supposed to be drinking a day um so monday i had a rest day yesterday tuesday i had a lower body today i'm gonna have upper body thursday i'm probably going to have a rest day because i'm going to be in the library all day but i do just want to have like a nature walk maybe like a vigorous nature walk would be nice um and then on friday we'll hit let's hit full body again full body we will take a rest day on saturday and then on Sunday, we'll have a lower body day so we can rest again on Monday. <laughs> As always, consistency is key, um, which is why I have this back there. Um, but yeah. They gathered by the sea, some people anxious. No one did speak to me when tides came, did not flee. Spoke the same, had the same dream, same pain and same feelings. Staring at the sea and what was left of me. It is 6.30 a.m. on a Friday. How am I up right now after last night? Don't question what's going on. <laughs> Just roll with it. Um, I don't even think I filmed what I personally was last night because I'm thinking about the first shot I took of the day and then the party, the next shot, and it's going to be just so funny on camera. I can't wait to see that. Uh, but I was a dark angel. None of my costumes really came on time except for the Yennefer costume, so I had to come up with stuff on the fly and um it was super fun <laughs> it was really fun i'm just sad about the catwoman halle berry's catwoman not coming in because i was about to absolutely murder that um so just imagine me murdering that because i i would have i really would have and you guys you guys know i would um but yesterday i was a dark angel 
we went to a sponsored event um, sponsored by Duke Outlaw. Um, they are the group for LGBTQ uh, community on the Duke Law campus and it was so fun. We had some a drag show, dancing, and I just, it was so fun. <laughs> it was so fun. I think at one point during the night, I was just like, I can't believe this is like a Duke sponsored event. Like this is like an actually like a sponsored event. Uh, but it was, and I just, um, I just kind of love my class. I think we're fun. I think we're, <laughs> I think we're lit. And yeah, um, I'm up though because I need to study. That's why we're up. I'm about to go to the library on campus, lock myself down in the basement, um, like the monster I am, and study until the next party later on tonight. Um, you guys know I'm taking the NPRE. This vlog, I will be taking the MP NPRE actually. So I need to finish memorizing my flashcards which I created um, yesterday and the day before that um, I'm gonna finish mem memorizing those I I want to take a practice a full exam <laughs> as practice today and then uh, if I have any time um, other than doing those two things I also want to study for a business association so we party but we are also responsible so we gotta do some work uh, but good morning everyone Full glass of water. I'll see you guys at the library. I am back, and it's been a while. Uh, we studied. We got some stuff done, not BA, so I had to bring the book home to do it tomorrow morning, but I was able to memorize all of my cards, all like 200 of them <laughs> um, today. And I also took a practice test, like a full practice exam. I'm gonna look over the answers uh, tomorrow before I practice again, because I think tomorrow I'm taking two practice tests, um, but I just don't wanna look at it right now. Like I was like, I'm just gonna take it, I'm gonna step away. Tomorrow we'll look at it learn from our mistakes and then take two more tests but you guys want to know what's really funny i was really sad about that catwoman thing not coming in and i just saw that sweetie actually is catwoman this how this halloween so i'm just like congratulations <laughs> oh but i actually did get the costume um on time except it is not what i ordered <laughs> and it is just huge i don't understand I don't understand this costume at all like it definitely was not what I ordered and now I'm like I don't know why I was fighting with the UPS people all day today about this package they could have kept it I did buy this gladiator costume this is what we'll be wearing tonight I need to like lay this down because this folded thing is not gonna work for me uh, but this is what we're wearing tonight don't know what I'm wearing to the festivities tomorrow we're gonna have to come up with that uh, tomorrow but tonight party we studied we get to party <laughs> on a serious note if you guys have any tips in terms of how to uh help my hunger with this whole medication thing i would greatly appreciate it because i don't really know what to do anymore especially today and days when i wake up really early where it just doesn't make sense to eat um i can't do the whole like big breakfast thing and it's just i almost fainted today <laughs> it's not nice not good um and i got i got really dizzy almost fainted it just wasn't good so if you guys have any tips at all any tips please please tell me the people who made this costume got jokes because <laughs> what is this look at my nose are these just not meant for like a negro nose like what is what is this a good caption too it's gonna be like big purr you know like you call me big purr i thought it was gonna be the caption but I... <laughs> every time i look okay okay final fit yeah it is on and i love it actually um the only thing about this costume i don't like is that it really highlights the fact that i do not have bo like boobs up here i feel that someone with boobs could uh really massacre this but i'm doing the best that i can um i got this from amazon 
I really like the cape. I think it looks very official and the little uh, bands I have right here. And then I got this um, shield from Spear Halloween that I cannot return. So have to wear it. I have to wear it. Um, but this is just what it looks like. And then shoes, shoes. These are so comfortable, by the way. I'm going to link them again. Um, but I wore them last night and I'm wearing them again today because they're just so comfortable for a long time wear, even if they are really like tall. But oh shit. <laughs> I promise I have not started drinking yet. <laughs> but just clumsy. But off you go. I recorded nothing last night. Do not be mad. That just means I had a great time. But um, actually, I did record some things. They just won't make it into the vlog because listen, you guys don't need it. But I just looked at the practice exam I took yesterday and look at this, you guys. Slightly above average. We love that. <laughs> this makes me feel great, like great, because this is my first test. It was only 30 questions and the NPRE has 60 questions. 50 of them are scored. 10 of them are like testing questions that they're trying to see if they're good um, for I don't think I've explained this, but each jurisdiction has a different um, level or amount of questions you're supposed to get right to pass the NPRE because I will be working in New York. I need to pass, I need to get 30 right. Um, and I think they like, there's like a median and they like average. I, I, let me not try to explain this right now, but I essentially need to get 30 out of 60 um, to like pass the exam and this is looking pretty good. <laughs> the two that I'm going to take today are 60 questions, so we'll see how that goes. I'm just pretty happy with this. I think that's fantastic. I, all of the work I've been doing, the memorization um, is working, so I'm really happy. Uh, I'm about to go and actually study right now and maybe take an exam. Um, today, we're celebrating my friend Harriet's birthday. We're going to go do paintball. You guys will see when we go um and then there is another party later on tonight but of course we gotta get some work done first <laughs> <laughs> I woke up this morning feeling perfect. <laughs> I mean, like, spiritually, I just feel like right today. And it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's not that I've been feeling off before, but I don't know how to explain this. And I'm about to sound very, very hippie. Very, but. I just feel so right. North Carolina is so beautiful right now with the fall coming in, the leaves are changing. I've been taking a lot of walks. I just feel like, <sighs> I feel great. Um, it's Monday, by the way. Sorry to start the day off with that hippie bullshit, <laughs> but it's fun day. I am about to go on campus. You know the deal, we have class all day. Um, I'm actually supposed to fly out to LA tomorrow morning uh, and I'm kind of rethinking, I have to, and I also just planned to go to a concert while I was there for like two days, but you guys know this week I have my NPRE on Friday <laughs> and I'm supposed to be coming back Thursday. So I'm just kind of like, I don't know if that's really what I want to do anymore. Um, so we'll see about that. We'll see how that works out. Uh, but weekend was fun. Funnest Halloween weekend I've ever had. Thursday and Friday's events, super fun. Saturday's, Saturday's event was such a dud. It was so whack. It was so, let me just, let me just stop. Um, yeah, we're going on campus. <laughs> and this is the Fitbit day. I wish I had a light color jacket, but I don't. So this would just have to work. And yeah, yeah. Morning. It is Wednesday. I am obviously not in LA. Uh, I have been feeling under the weather and I don't think it's COVID, but I'm going to take a COVID test today regardless because anytime anyone is sick now, you have to take a COVID test. Um, but I'm feeling under, under the weather. I'm just very ill. Like my body does not feel good. Um, I already probably talked 
quite a bit on here about medication side effects but it's really really affecting me and that's also why i have not been vlogging because i feel like oh i didn't vlog tuesday um because i feel like i'm doing things that aren't necessarily the most healthy that i don't want to kind of put on camera if that makes any sense like I haven't been able to really sleep a lot. I haven't been able to eat a lot and I don't want to promote that. So you guys know I don't do toxic productivity. I don't like to promote unhealthy eating habits, things like that. So I felt like, you know, if I don't want to promote it, then what's the point of uh, filming aesthetic looking things of me studying at 1 a.m. or studying from like I don't know 4 p.m. to 3 4 a.m. Um, simply because I'm having these really bad effects like what's the point of making that aesthetic if I'm not promoting um, but today's Wednesday and I just got live stream for my classes because I'm I can't go to class until after I take my COVID test and they make sure I'm not sick and I'm not going to infect my classmates who I don't want to make sick so I'm in bed <laughs> I'm in bed and we're gonna watch live streams and um, I still have been studying though I'm still studying for the MPRE um, so we have to do that today it just it's like the worst time for this to be happening to me um, because it's grind month and I'm sorry for using that word I really am uh, but it's grind month in November and finals are fastly approaching it's just all bad I started this day by complaining. Sorry. And how does it stack? What kind of statutory protections are available for our creditors when they're dealing with a corporation? It is later and I have way more energy. <laughs> Between classes, I was just sleeping, which is good. Uh, I'm so glad I was able to do the live streams today. I still feel a little bit like down, but I have so much more energy than I did before. I'm so grateful. Um, I also went to this place. We went earlier in this vlog called Grub and they have really good smoothies there. And I, I got a smoothie too. This was my second one. Um, so I feel like I feel good, <laughs> like better than I was. So I'm about to go study. <laughs> um, I wish I could be doing something else with this energy, but um, I have to go study for the MPRE. So I'm gonna go in the leasing office with my friends, Chaw Day, and we're gonna hit the books. Like this is not even music appropriate for a leasing office. They said you guys are gonna rock tonight. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> it is Thursday. Um, I am currently on my way to a networking event. Um, it's called Paving Pathways. It's hosted by BALSA, the Black Law Student Association. It's actually the event where I met the attorney who uh, introduced me to the firm that I'm going to next year. Um, so he's actually gonna be there today. So I get to meet him like in person, but Essentially, it's a networking opportunity for the Black Law students to come and meet other Black Law grads who are currently working in all places. Um, mostly, I think, big law firms. You get to talk to them, and it's just like a different feel. I don't know if you guys remember last year when I did this. I was like, I really enjoyed talking to like Black people, Black lawyers, because I feel like they kind of they, they talk a little bit slower when they're talking to me. Not in like, oh, you're stupid slow, but they don't expect you to know like a wide variety of like things about the law because a lot of people don't. Um, and they just kind of talk to you like they would have liked someone to talk to them about what they do and just questions. So super fun. I'm glad it's in person this year, and um, it's a three course meal, open bar, it's free. I we're there <laughs> now let's take a look at this dress yes yes navy blue got it on amazon and i just i was so in love with the neckline i think it's like 1950s or something uh but it's it's giving it's giving everything i need to be giving right now it really is here is the full look and then we've got these black shoes. They're Kenneth Coles. I got them on Amazon also. They have little cushions in them that make them so comfortable. So I'm thinking, I was trying to try these out because they're kind of like expensive. Uh, but I'm thinking now I'm gonna keep it, which is unfortunate for me. Uh, but this is the look. Yes, yes. And I'm taking this jacket over here because I don't have a black trench coat and I honestly need to get one, but this is the only one I have. And it's legitimately, freezing outside it's like 40 degrees it's crazy <laughs> hello 
it's friday it's test test day my skin looks great which is good the self-confidence i need it right now <laughs> i need it right now um it is friday i already i just got to the testing site i'm an hour early they said to be 30 minutes early i got anxiety so i was just like i'll be taking wrong turns i'll be getting lost just in case i forget something what if there's no parking you know just anxiety so i just decided to come an hour early and it's beautiful here it's very beautiful <laughs> um i am a little nervous i had like three nightmares back to back last night so um i don't know what that means for me personally i hope it means nothing i hope it means nothing but i would really like to pass this the first time um i've worked on my fear of failure but you know i still don't still don't really like it i would really really like not to fail this um but yeah we're here and it's beautiful the space is beautiful the trees are changing i'll show you guys hold on look how beautiful that is when i tell you guys north carolina right now is really doing it for me doing it for the girls and everybody I mean it. Look at that. Hello. It is after the test. Um, ignore the fact that I'm crying. It has nothing to do with the exam. I think the exam went okay. It was uh, harder than not what, than I thought it was going to be, but it was it was hard. Uh, at least I felt like it was hard. But that's not why I'm crying. I am. Uh, having PMS so badly today. <laughs> this is like the first day of like my PMS week or window, whatever, whatever Flo is talking about, the Flo app. Um, but today is like, I have not PMS this hard in a very long time and I don't know what's going on. I cried about several things today. One of them being that because it is colder now, the deers that live around here are just like, so they go on the road sometimes on the highway and then people will run them over and they'll just stay on the side of the road. You see what I mean? <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, they'll just stay on the side of the road. I'm just like driving. I don't like that I'm driving. And then just like, it's just like a dead deer on the side of the road, like all the time. And they take forever to pick them up. And then there was like someone ran over a cat today and they just like left it there. And it's just. <laughs> I also cried today because I thought about look at me just holding up these bottles <laughs> because i thought something mean about someone today like it was really mean the person themselves are not nice they're not nice they're kind of a bully but not being kind of they are a bully but i that doesn't excuse me from just thinking really mean things and i know i'm not my thoughts and everything like that but it just felt like damn bitch really this is this is where we're at like i just kind of felt like all this healing and meditation and here we go with the mean thoughts it's just unbecoming of me so i started crying about that when i went to go get my toes done i was sitting on the chair crying about this mean thing i'm thinking and i don't know i was watching um hitomi's latest videos with isabel and they're so beautiful and they're in washington state i know one of you guys is thinking dear this bitch goes again about washington state <laughs> But I'm a ride or die for Washington State and it was just so beautiful. So I was crying about that. I just feel really emotional and I'm trying not to um, be like, oh, I'm being a basket case. I just said that like to myself five minutes ago. I was like, you're being such a basket case, but I don't think I'm being a basket case. I just, I'm fully living <laughs> in this thing right now. And it's kind of like, ugh. But yeah, I'm hosting a party. <laughs> I'm having a party. A couple of the Balsa 2L girls will be coming over to my house. We're having wine and we're listening to some good music. I have all the wine left over from last time. Um, so I will be using that. And then I got some nice glasses from the thrift store recently. Here you go. I don't have like two of the same because I don't like that. I like when they're like unique. So I have these, you guys already know from my, when I first moved in, I got these ones. This one is my fave, this is the one I'm using. Um, I also got this really pretty one right here. It's like a nice little like brown caramel color, I don't know. But yeah, party. 